There was a time where I said I wanted to open a winery and everybody thought I was crazy, but then I did it. And then I said that I want to open up a second location and then here we are in Helen. It's country wine for the country kind. Exhibit A. We're trying to get it open by Friday, just under a huge time crunch. There's nothing more important to Matthew and I than family. That's why we do what we do. That's why we're taking this risk. Because right now we live in a barn. It's really small and we're quickly outgrowing it as a family. So we sat down one night and we thought, well, how are we going to be able to afford a house anytime soon? So over on the hill, we'll have our farm style house. I'm trying to get open by Friday. Matt's timetable, keeping up with schedules and that kind of sort of thing, and I would put it as mediocre at best. I was hoping to have at least this, the main bar finished yesterday, but I, I don't. Dude, it's, it's one thing after another. I'm taking care of an almost three-year-old and a 10-month-old while I'm trying to get the paperwork done, answer emails and phone calls. I may look like I'm not panicking, but instead I am. It's a great combination, Matt and Lindsay, the way they balance each other out. Where have you been? And now I gotta go make sure Taylor's not screwing anything up. You get it strapped down and get in there safely. I'm extremely thirsty. This is the only perk that matters. Yeah, well, he said he'd be here before 1 o'clock. Gotta get all the glasses out. Porch cleaned off with all the tools. I've gotta redo all that. We've gotta get wine chilled. We've gotta get beer chilled. It's crunching. Hey, We're getting there. It's been 30 minutes. I'm tired. I'm hungry. Of course, today. I wasn't going to fail again. I wasn't going to be another statistic or another guy who said he's going to do something and it did not work out. I've always wanted to say if I'm going to do something, especially if it's big and grand, to actually execute it.